I decided to become a pilot because of my interest in aviation and my family's history in the industry, with my biggest role model being my father, who flew for the Turkish Airlines for 25 years. My uncle is currently flying as a captain in Turkish Airlines in the A350 family. I'm deciding on A320 at the Airbus family. It wasn't my childhood dream. I would think about other professions like teacher, doctor or anything else. My first flight left so many impressions. I saw flight attendants, uh, of how did they work and uh, I, I dreamed about it. But then after each flight I started to think about pilot job. What do they do? How is important their job? And while I was walking to the exit, I tried to look in the cabin. All of the stuff, all these buttons and monitors became so interesting and fascinating to me. So I started to involve aviation and pilot job especially. So I guess that's why I decided to become a pilot at 16, now I'm 20 and I finished PPL theory and only ATPL and practice left. Well, it was a spontaneous decision. Uh, previously, I was thinking about trying a role as an architecture and even planned it in advance. And one day I got a sign that it's not my sphere. I had a really long conversation with a pilot who explained me all cons and pros of being a pilot and uh, even uh, gave me some tips. And at that time I got a maybe really huge desire to become a pilot and immediately shared it with my parents. And at uh, that time they really supported me, which was really crucial for me. I chose BAA because of the quality of education and the prominence it holds among other flight schools in Europe and many partnerships it has with different airlines. Turkish Airlines, SCAT Airlines as my um, fellow uh, classmates, Air France and many other airlines. My academy in Kazakhstan started this exchange program in March and I was involved there as a headman of the groups, collecting all of the information, documentation about students. So I always wanted to study abroad, to see the Europe, to have a European license, so this was my chance to complete all of it at once. That was kind of hard selection, but I didn't worry, I didn't panic, I was sure that I will complete all of it. So now here as a BA training student, all of my dreams and goals keep coming true. Actually, I'm a student of Civil Aviation Academy in Kazakhstan who has decided that we will study here in a BEA training. And when I've heard that I'm uh, given an opportunity to study in BEA, I started uh, making researches. And when I found out that it is a really highly trusted flight school among the airlines like Turkish Airlines, Wizz Air, and even our local airline called SCAT. And which means that when you'll graduate this flight school, you won't face some problems with their employment, which is really important nowadays. And also, as a current student of BE training, I would say that it is a really nice place where you can be trained for your HPL and eventually get your European license. And uh, we have already learned three subjects, uh, and I'm really thankful for our instructors that really gave us uh, so many knowledge. And thanks for the instructors for training us, and uh, we are actually scoring really high marks in uh, exams. A piece of advice I'd like to share with aspiring aviators would be to be open-minded and ready to learn a wide variety of subjects concerning aviation and to be able to update that learned knowledge accordingly to the situations they face. Always believe in yourself. Uh, try to not listen to others what they say because I'm a girl and I heard so many opinions from others that I won't be a pilot, that it's a really hard profession. But I didn't hear them so I, I'm here. So my suggestion is to make, to make a plan to write down all of the, your goals and try to achieve them step by step. So trust yourself, believe in yourself and don't give up. If you fail, start, up, start again and just believe in yourself. That's all I guess. And for those who are really patient about aviation, I would say that just follow your dreams, guys. It's not really uh, difficult to get here. Just uh, improve your English skills because every stuff, every material is written in English in aviation. Also work with your math and physics and uh, do workouts and take care of your health in order to be able to pass the medical check. And also develop the skills like a communication which will be really useful for you in the future. And that's it guys, I wish you the, all the best and the good luck. Mm -hmm.